Thank you, Mr. Bowen. Uh, <clears throat> may need to hire you as my agent. <laughs> Let me just start again by thanking Ben and Georgia Trend and Neely to be here with you today with your special recognition is very special to me. And a special thanks to Susan Percy, who crafted a very well-written article uh, that really made me look good. So it really is impressive. But I, I think we all need to thank Georgia Trend for their great work in highlighting the very best of Georgia. Every time I get a magazine or go online, they do a great job at highlighting the great things that are going on in this great state. But they also bring forward the challenges that we face as Georgian and give us some perspective to think about as readers. So online and monthly, it's always a job well done. Can we give Georgia Trend a round of applause? I have to tell you that this acknowledgement is very humbling to me uh, for many reasons. And as if you read the article, you know, I'm encouraging you to read the article. <laughs> but if you read the article, it's humbling because Michael Sullivan, my friend from ACEC, called me a horse. You're pretty humble when somebody calls you a horse. Actually, he used the word workhorse, and I'm very humble for that. I like to think of myself that way. But it's actually the men and women of GDOT that are their workhorses that get so much done. And this recognition of me is really a recognition of them. And we have to give them that acknowledgement. I just think of myself as one of the team members that's trying to make Georgia better every day. And I'm just really lucky to be on that team. With the recent weather events, uh, I don't like snow, okay, in case you want to know, snow's a bad word. This, these weather events have given us an opportunity to really look at the hard work of the unsung heroes who work days and nights in terrible conditions. In fact, we tell everybody to stay home and be safe, but the men and women of GDOT go out and hit the roads in unsafe conditions to try to get the roads open. One of those unsung heroes is a gentleman named Kerry Ellery. He was the assistant foreman down in Thomaston, Georgia. And he had worked a couple of overnight shifts this last snow event, 12 hours in fact overnight in bad weather. Here in Atlanta, he's from Thomaston. He was heading home back to Thomaston when he was in a tra tragic and horrific accident which he lost his life. That's the dedication and commitment of the unsung heroes of men and women at Georgia DOT. All they were doing is serving us as Georgians and trying to make their roads passable. That's the kind of commitment we have in our team. Again, so many unsung heroes that deserve credit that were involved in the I-85 rebuild. You saw the wonderful video. I wish we could do all projects as fast as that video. We're trying, I assure you. But we have to acknowledge those unsung heroes, starting with the Atlanta Police Department, Georgia State Patrol, our hero units out there, and of course the Atlanta Fire and Rescue Department. You know, I wouldn't be here today, we wouldn't have this conversation if one person was injured or lost their life in that initial event. And for that, I will be always grateful. And I think, again, we should always acknowledge the wonderful work our first responders do to keep us safe. But as you saw that video, you didn't see me in it at all anywhere, building any of that bridge. It's our GDOT employees, it's our contractor, C.W. Matthews contractor up in, from Marietta. It's the suppliers that got the materials there. And it's also the team that we have in place. Mayor, the city of Atlanta team embedded with us immediately. It's the MARTA staff. Again, this, this event highlighted the criticality and nature of the importance of transit in the metropolitan Atlanta region. Our state road and tollway authority teammates, Chris Thomason, embedded with us that night. Gwinnett County Transit. And believe it or not, numerous restaurants who showed up and fed those construction workers almost daily, just showed up and fed them, just out of being good and kind, decent people. It's, th it's those people that deserve the credit. I think the singular focus of rebuilding Interstate 85 and the tireless dedication there of six weeks was truly amazing. I do feel that it showcased everyone's capabilities and I'll be forever grateful for those unsung heroes who showed the nation what we can do in Georgia. I know as I stand here today, I'm a very blessed person to be able to serve with so many exceptional leaders here in Georgia and across this entire state. At least 100 of you are here today being recognized. And I have to say for my name to even be mentioned with you is quite an honor. 
one that I never would have imagined. So I thank you all, all 100 plus notable mentions, plus all the teams everywhere across the state for what you do. A few thank yous though, I have to take the time while I have this podium to share that for people giving me opportunities to be here today. And I start with my mom and dad. Uh, they always instilled in me, you can do anything you set your mind to as long as you work hard for it. And they believe in working hard. And I certainly uh, are thankful for them. I'm really glad that I had some really great professors down at Georgia Southern University that helped guide me in civil engineering and helped me determine what my career path should be. I think they did pretty well. I feel pretty good about the outcome of that. So thank you for them. Some of my mentors over at my career at GDOT uh, over the years, too many people to name, but just to highlight a few, one from Hall County, Larry Dent, former deputy commissioner, taught me a lot. A gentleman in Athens, Georgia named Fred Appling, a construction project manager that showed me the ropes, former chief engineer, Gerald Ross, and uh, two people that have departed from us. I learned a lot from Commissioner Wayne Shackelford, if you remember him, and a chief engineer named Frank Danchez. They certainly taught me a lot. Certainly thanks to our transportation board who gave me this opportunity to serve. Uh, quite something I never would have imagined. Very proud of that. But as I bring, it, if I bring my thanks to a conclusion, there's a couple more people I have to mention. One of them's Governor Dill. From my time up in Gainesville, when I worked with Congressman Dill at the time, to now as governor, I've had a wonderful opportunity to witness excellence in leadership and to try to emulate that. So Governor Dill, thank you for what you've done for me. And my final thanks is to my wonderful wife, Michelle, who's here with us today. We're working on our second 25 years of marriage. That's continuous, no breaks in that. <laughs> She's not only a person that provides unconditional love and support for me and makes my, makes my life worth living, a truly amazing teacher, and a great mother of our three boys, and my soulmate. Again, this is a great honor uh, for me to recognize, be recognized by Georgia Trend. And I would like to leave you today with a little bit of wisdom of life that I try to instill. And this wisdom about life comes from military strategists, believe it or not, dealing with retreat. But really it's about how you leave a situation in good standing. And it's simply this, this is my wisdom to leave you with today, is don't burn your bridges or mine. Thank you very much. <laughs>